Josh, uh, welcome to Charlton. You're our eighth sign in the summer. How does it feel to be a Charlton player? Yeah, it feels fantastic, you know, with uh, the history of the club and the stature and, 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 and how big it is with the quality of players. It's it's overwhelming to be asked to come and be a part of, of the transition and trying to get back to the top. When did you first hear about hear about our interest in, in the move? Uh, just my representation let me know that there, there was possible interest and I was like, yeah, if, if anything can happen, <laughs> let's try and make it happen. You know, it was... I didn't really have to think twice. Uh, Charlton Athletic is a massive club, and I, I felt right for me to come here and, and try and develop my, my career even further. So the contact was made with with Kilmarnock, and then when it was accepted, negotiations went underway. And thank God that, that everything went right, and I'm I'm here, ready to go for for the Cup and Come fixture on Saturday. Looking back to last year, 13 goals for Kilmarnock was um, how how do you assess your your performances last year? Yeah, it was good. I think. Um, on a personal note, I think it was good, especially with sort of the end with hard finish and then go on into the, the summer with the Euros. But it was up and down season as a, as a collective because we went all the way to the end of the season with the playoff game to make sure that we stayed up. So it was up, sort of up and down, but it was it was, it was a good test of character and, 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 and as well as learning my technical game, I learned a lot of, of the mental game. So for me in progression, it was a good season. You touched on, on the summer there. I mean, a, a real historic yeah. summer for yourself and your country. I mean, what was it? What was that like to be a part of? It was unbelievable, you know. Especially um, with the the team that we have, it was we're all so close, and it was an, a special moment for all of us to share together. So to come back off that with with the confidence I had, and and to witness not only my own teammates playing, but other world class footballers, was was absolutely fantastic. So something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And as well as making the squad and and scoring the goal that yeah. that ultimately got you to the finals, you got to get on the pitch as well in all four games. That must have been a real. Sort of a real few special yeah, moments. Well, yeah, it was just even good when the, the, my manager told me um, that that I was going. But to to be able to get on the pitch and say that you played in a, an amazing tournament is is absolutely fantastic. You know, so it's good that the manager has that trust in me. So, as you say, it was fantastic on a personal personal note. You've not had much time off. I mean, how how are the legs and how's the body feeling? Yeah, it's been been quite good. You know, I've uh, been able to. Uh, five days off which maybe is not as luxurious as the six weeks seven weeks that some people normally get but in terms of me you know football's my job um, I've been able to manage it quite well instead of when other boys are doing double sessions I've had only one session so my legs are feeling good and, and I'm ready for the start of the new season. Have you had much of a pre-season under your belt at Kilmarnock? Are you, are you feeling match fit yeah, and ready? I am yeah I play, I've played two 90 minutes since I've been back at Kilmarnock and I've, I've trained basically every day so um, apart from days off so as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm up to date ready to go of course you can always keep improving never going to send the finished article that's just a bit of arrogance but I'm here to learn and, and progress as much as I can under the manager and, and the teammates that I have You had your first training session with your new teammates today I mean how was that I mean, was it good to get involved straight away yeah, a bit nerve wracking I'm not a really a nervous person but it was a bit nerve wracking you know like being first day back at, at, at secondary school you know sitting uh, trying to suss out people and talk to people and, and get the sort of things in common so it's not that awkward but the boys come up and introduce themselves to me and they've been right as rain. I already know Roger from the time I spent with him at Cardiff so that was good. a good in and, and, and the rest of the boys have, have been welcoming him so it's been easier than, than what I thought so it just hopefully may I continue and, and I fit in quite well to the team and, and whatever's needed from me. For Charlton fans that may not have seen you play before, what type of striker is, is Josh McGuinness? Just a physical striker. Um, just for as long as I'm on the pitch, for as long as I'm playing, I always give a hundred percent, and I just try and work hard for not only myself but whatever the team needs. So you'll always get a hundred percent when I'm wearing a jersey, and uh, hopefully that brings goals. You've got a bit of a, a an unusual story in that you were a goalkeeper yeah. until quite until quite old. Um, how did that all come about? I was assigned to Cardiff as a goalkeeper, and then they basically said it's not good enough. You need to sort of think of new pastures and the Wimbledon manager Neil Ardley as well as uh, the first team coach uh, there uh, Paul Wilkinson said look I used to when I was younger I used to play like half in nets and then half out field and they're like we know you can do that so if you want to try again and you'll have to go on basically a trial and I've done that and then they said that's to show us something we can work with and I managed to sign there and then managed to earn a professional contract there. So it's been it's been a long nine or so years since the transition, but it's been going along nicely, yeah. Looking ahead to next season, what do you think we can achieve here at the club? I think it's, I think everyone's been everyone I've spoke to and sort of the media terms, especially 
unfortunately last season when you, you get relegated your main aim is to go straight back up and there's there's no reason why that why we can't do that with the, the caliber of player that, that 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 we have here you know there was a massive overhaul in the summer <laughs> the gaffers brought in new players that, that he feels that can strengthen the squad in key areas and by seeing what today in training even though it wasn't everyone involved that what I did see it was it was absolutely fantastic so there's a lot of quality with the youth here and and the, the senior heads bring a lot of experience so hopefully we can gel them both together and come up with a winning formula and go on and have a brilliant season. Northampton at home on Saturday you must be sort of raring to, to get yeah. out of the valley and make your home debut then. Exactly yeah it's, it's absolutely brilliant to be able to say your first game is, is at home at, at the valley especially in front of all the fans will be fantastic. <coughs> no, don't get me wrong, North, Northampton's going to be a hard game. They're newly promoted and rightly so. They blitzed the league last season. So it's going to be a tough test for us. But I think if we're able to, to put everything we have together, I think we might just have too much for them at the end of the day. So fingers crossed and God willing that we'll come out with three points. Ow.